when a question says rationalize the denominator, it's asking us to, the denominator is a bottom number, and rationalize means get rid of the third, because thirds are irrational numbers. We need to get rid of the third from the bottom. That's what rationalize the denominator means. So in order to do this, remember with fractions, if we turn the top and bottom by the same thing, it remains the same. So I can times this bottom number by something if I also times the top by it. And I know if I times root 2 by root 2, it's going to become 2. It's going to get rid of the square root. So if I do that, multiply the bottom by it, I multiply the top as well. So 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2. And root 2 times root 2, that's just 2. Um, and then I've got 2 root 2 over 2, which actually simplifies just to root 2. So I've got no fraction left. If I had a fraction, it'd be root 2 over 1. Um, so I've got a rationalised denominator. So let's look at another example of this. So I've got 9 over root 3. So I want to times root 3 by root 3. That will get rid of the third from the bottom. And if I times the bottom by this, I've got to times the top by the same thing. So 9 times root 3 is just 9 root 3. And root 3 times root 3 is 3. I can simplify this one. Again, because this one goes to 9 root 3, so and root and 3, divide them both by 3. So 3 root 3 over 1, which is just 3 root 3. Okay, this is a harder example. If I try to just times it by root 3 on the bottom, I'll end up with, well, 3, if I times root 3 by root 3, but I'd also have to times this by root 3, which will leave it as a root still, root 3. So... I use the difference of two squares, if you remember what that is, the difference of two squares to get rid of the third on the bottom. So if I times it by root 3 minus 1, so the same thing but with a negative sign, what happens is the middle bit cancels. Let's, let's check, let me show you this. So root 3 plus 1 times root 3 minus 1. So root 3 times root 3 is 3. Root 3 times minus 1 minus root 3. 1 times root 3, root 3, and 1 times minus 1, minus 1. These two bits in the middle, minus root 3, plus root 3, they're going to cancel out and that's going to give me 0. So it's just going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. That's brilliant because there's no third left on the bottom. That's what we want. So we use this trick, difference of two squares. So if this is a minus, we times it by the same of a plus. If it's a plus, we times it by the same of a minus. If I times the bottom by this, I've got to times the top by the same thing, because that's how we keep fractions the same, how we keep them equivalent. So we know the bottom is going to be 2, because we've just worked that out. And on top, I've got 4 times root 3, which is 4 root 3, and 4 times minus 1, minus 4. So that leaves me with 4 root 3 minus 4 over 2. I can simplify that. I can half the top. So that leaves me with 2 root 3 minus 2. Here's another example. So I need to get rid of the third from the bottom. Rationalise the denominator. So I'm going to times it by root 2 plus 1 this time. That means the middle bit's going to cancel. Difference of 2 squares. And then I times the top by the same thing. Um, we'll do the bottom first, shall we? So root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times 1 is root 2. Minus 1 times root 2 is minus root 2. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1. On the top, root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times 1 is root 2. 3 root 2s, 3 root 2, and 3 ones are 3. So let's simplify now. I've got 5 and 4 root 2s. Got 1 root 2 plus 3 of them. And on the bottom, the root 2 and root 2 are going to cancel. So I've just got 2 minus 1, which is 1. So the final answer is 5 plus 4 root 2. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go. Okay, the first one. I'm going to times the top and bottom by root 2. 
that will get rid of the root 2 from the bottom. So I've got 8 root 2 over 2, which is 4 root 2. Here I'm going to times by root 3. So that's 15 root 3 over 3, which simplifies to 5 root 3. Here I'm going to times by root 5 plus 3. So on top, 10 root 5 plus 30. And on the bottom, uh, 5 plus 3 root 5 minus 3 root 5 minus 9. Um, so the bottom line is going to simplify, they're going to cancel, to minus 4. So I've got 10 root 5 plus 30 over minus 4. Um, I can half everything. So that'll go to a 2, that's a 5, and that's a 15. So the best I can do is, I can even take the minus on the outside, makes it a little bit neater. 5 root 5 plus um, 15 over 2, and it's all negative, minus on the outside. You could just leave the minus 2 on the bottom. Um, and here I want to times by root 5 plus 1. So root 5 plus 1. So on the top, 5 plus root 5 plus root 5 plus 1. And on the bottom, I've got 5 plus root 5 minus root 5 minus 1. So the top is... 6 plus 2 root 5, and the bottom is 4. So again, I could half this. So 3 plus root 5 over 2. That's the simplest form.